So Ben, I really thought Aki's were fantastic today. The result was so, so good. Um, most folk after being up at Dingwall last week probably weren't expecting yeah. us to win 2-0 today. I the fact is that last week defensively we were so poor so there was a huge amount of expectation around Sam Stubbs and how that signing was going to be and maybe people think a wee bit about you know he's very young is it one of these kind of signings that we've seen before but actually I think today we've seen that that boy can slot into this team and be looked, very very good he looked very assured everybody that I've been speaking to as well as the people I was watching the game with everybody was saying he just looks like he's got years beyond his, his age a real maturity and the, and the lad just looked so settled in there immediately the thing that he did was that he was communicating with the defenders yeah. and that then meant that the rest of them were able to play their positions so technically today at the back we looked excellent. Our McGowan was able to play well. It meant that Godric, instead of playing 5-3-2 or 5-4-1, we were able to play with a 4-4... Well, I think it was 4-5-1 we played, actually. And um, it's just technically excellent. So, um, you know, Kilmarnock played very well in the, in the first game. It was very... Yeah, you know, it was an even game, and they're, they're a good side, and they played really well. Um, but it was lovely to see Lewis Smith just opening that up. His, you know, he looked up, tried to create the space, and then he got a... He was patient, he got a wee second opportunity, and just that curl to put on the ball. It was a lovely finish. It was the exact same goal he scored against Clyde, which is what I, I pointed out to the guys sitting next to me. Exactly, exactly. Created the space, drew his man in, and put it onto his left and curled it. That's just what Scott Gardner was saying to me when, you know, it was lovely to celebrate that with Scott because I go to the games with him a lot. And, uh, you know, we were saying exactly the same thing at Clyde, that was what we saw from him. So I think that today, actually, Lewis deserved to get the man of the match award right. because I thought his play was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit concerned about whether we can hold on to him. If he continues to play like that all season, he, I, I think he's got a really bright future in the game. Yeah. Um, I suppose, I, I don't think there was anyone out there who doesn't get past marks today, but I think certainly Stubbs, I would probably have given, it was between Stubbs and Smith for the man in the match, but I actually think that Smith was, he edged it for me, so I was a wee bit surprised when Godric got it, although I think that's probably because of the defensive performance. Yeah. That I think him. personally, my man in the match was, was Sam Stubbs, I thought he was phenomenal. Right. Nothing got past him, like you said, uh, organising the defence, that's something he spoke about obviously his interview when he signed, he likes to be a leader, he is a leader, he organises the defence. What Alan Maitland was speaking to after the game was, when I talked to him about bringing an experienced centre-back, what he said was, Sam Stubbs is the experience, just not the experience you expect. Uh -huh. So when we say experienced, Aki's fans are wanting, you know, 26, 27, even, you know, go up to 30, past 30, like Matt Gallen, plenty of experience playing different leagues, and that kind of, you know, experience being a captain, for example. Yep. Um, but Sam Stubbs, like you said, slotted in so perfectly, organised the whole defence, so nothing seemed to get past him whatsoever. He was my man in the match, with Lewis Smith a close second, actually. So I think in terms of, you know, the game turned on that sending off for Easton. Um, I didn't think it was a sending off. Uh -huh. I think maybe one or two folks around about me thought he was a wee bit high, but there's no way, he hadn't been booked in it, and I felt that Bobby Madden doesn't like us, and Bobby Madden will, will say it clearly, you know, <laughs> our fans really do not like Bobby Madden, he's done that to us so many times, the fact that when he was getting booed at the end that he turned and waved to a rice smile, the support just tells you everything you need to know about the guy, not got much integrity, so Scottish football doesn't need referees like that, um, and I thought that was poor, um, but I did think it was quite good when the Aki's fans started singing, there's only one Bobby Madden towards the end of the game, so credit to the support because they get behind the team today and that always helps so everyone needs to keep doing that bring friends to the games we've got a decent team get the message out there we need to fill this place we need to fill new douglas park we want to get five thousand bums on seats here every single week and um, more than that six thousand let's get this place <laughs> rocking um so I, I think also the one other thing that I would call it was that safe for Vaughan Williams when yes. he tipped it over the bar. Uh -huh. You know, that for me was probably the other one moment in the game which I was just like, wow, wow. And, and again, I would say to Vaughan Williams what I liked about him today, I've been reserving judgment, not been very sure, but I thought today he had a really good game yeah. and I felt that our game management was really good today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were maybe getting pulled up by the ref for a little bit of time wasting, but I thought even the ball boy, he was excellent, but yeah. <laughs> Vaughan Williams going down, on the ball, 
was something new for me. That fall forward and holding the ball down is probably the best since Thomas <laughs> Cherney. So, um, all in, I'm very pleased. Hopefully, we can take that into the game next week. It's a shame that Easton probably won't be playing. Yeah. But let's get a really big support down to Rugby Park and we'll sing and dance and have a great time. All finished here at New Douglas Park. Hamilton 2, Kilmarnock 0. It was a brilliant performance from us from back to front. Everyone gets pass marks from me today, like the fan earlier on was saying. Nobody, nobody gets a negative mark from me today. I thought um, Fawn Williams, he said he had a great game. I thought he had great moments. His brilliant save tipped all over the bar and obviously that point blank save. I think it more hit him than made a save. But Fawn Williams kept a good clean sheet today. All the defenders were fantastic. Adam McGowan on the right, Scott McMahon on the left, and Sam Stubbs in the middle. He was my man in the match, as I said earlier. Sam Stubbs was fantastic. Nothing nothing get past him, nothing beat him in the air. He was brilliant. He kept Eamon Brophy in his back pocket, and Eamon Brophy will be raging that he didn't get a goal today. <laughs> Into the midfield, I still think we're lacking something in there. Darian McKinnon was just too behind the pace today. He is getting on a little bit. Blair Olsen played alongside Daz. I think he should be further up. He had some good moments as well, but like I said, everyone gets a pass mark from me. Second in place for man of the match was Lewis Smith. He got the brilliant goal today. Uh, his exact same goal he scored against Clyde in the cup. Brought down, uh, drew two or three men in, moved it quickly from his right to his left and curled it into the far bottom corner. That was in the first half. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, and obviously our second goal was again created by Lewis Smith. Smith, which is why I think he is a very, very close second to Sam Stubbs. <coughs> he got the ball down on the right wing, cut inside again. I think he was going for a shot. He definitely, I don't think he was trying to pass it into Oakley in the middle. He went for the shot, ended up dragging along the floor, and Oakley just managed to get a flick that took it past the keeper, and that made it 2-0. Aki's fans were brilliant today. I think we had a, 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 a 1,500 roughly Aki's fans here today, which is brilliant. And you could see the support meant a lot to the players as they came off. All applauding is, of course, Brian Rice as well. What they were saying about Bobby Madden is absolutely correct. He had a terrible game today. Uh, the sending off, obviously, uh, he's, uh, Brian Easton gets sent off. I don't think it was a sending off. It was a really poor tackle, but fans around me were saying it was a Stonewall red card. I'm not too sure about it. Uh, for me, it was a yellow, as easy as that. I think today, Aki's fans can go home absolutely over the moon with it and enjoy it. We're playing Kelly again, obviously, next week away uh, at Kelly in the Betfred Cup round of 16, so that'll be a really good game to follow up with this one. There'll be a lot of rivalry and a lot of tetchiness in there, so I'm excited for that. I was being told there was a few fights between the fans after the game, which obviously we don't want uh, at Aki's or at any football club really. Um, we, we are, all we can say is we ask fans not to do that. It's a terrible example for both clubs and that should not be happening. But if you focus on the football, Aki's will be over the moon with that result today. All the, I think the, that's the players coming out now. Uh, all the players will be absolutely fantastic. With, uh, we'll, we'll be absolutely over the moon with that. Aki's fans are on top of the world at the moment and that gives us our first win in the Premiership. I also interviewed Alan Maitland after the game. He only wants it as a written report, so it will be up uh, on the only Aki's Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, hopefully today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm working in uh, collaboration with Ben, who writes a lot of uh, match reports after the game as well. Uh, he does a great job, so he, he does a great job, so it'll be on uh, his site and his blog, but we will put it on ours as well. But if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Really do appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well, so you don't miss some only Aki's content. I will see you next week at Kelly.